Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's the holidays around here. If you're new around here, my name's Sarah. I run a lifestyle blog over at thecharmingdetroiter.com. Over there I share recipes, style tips, home decor, DIY projects, travel guides, all kinds of stuff. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, make sure that you head over there to thecharmingdetroiter.com after you watch this video to check out more of my content. And also be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell below so that you don't miss any of my new videos when they come out. So today's video, I'm gonna take you guys along as I decorate my house for the holidays. It was kind of a weird year because Thanksgiving and Christmas are so close together that it was hard to find time to decorate without it being too early. So we ended up having Christmas decorations at Thanksgiving. So today I'm gonna to take you around my house, show you my holiday decor, share my three Christmas trees with you. Yes, three Christmas trees. My husband was very nice to me this year. So let's get started. So every holiday season, I like to pick a color scheme. This is a color or a couple of colors that I kind of feature throughout the house in the Christmas trees, in the garland on our staircase, and any wreaths or any other kind of decor elements in our house. And I think that's a really great way to make sure that your holiday decor is cohesive throughout your house and throughout the space and is not just a hodgepodge mismatch of random different elements of Christmas decor. For example, this year I chose to do a black and white theme and so all of my gift wrapping is black and white with some more natural elements like some branches and some burlap ribbons tied in there. And on the Christmas trees, I tried to keep the color scheme black, white, and then metallics like gold and silver with a lot of natural elements in there. So I think a really great way to make sure that your holiday decor feels really fresh and new every season is to include natural elements. So this year I am focusing on a lot of burlap elements, but then also eucalyptus leaves and other sort of branches tied in with that black and white theme. Each Christmas tree, I try to feature a slightly different take on my theme for the year. So for our bedroom Christmas tree, I decided to go for a little bit more of a rustic feel that was still kind of playful and whimsical. So I featured blacks and whites and the ribbons and the garlands throughout. Then I put some wildlife ornaments in there, including some deers, which my husband really appreciates. And for the picks on this tree, I chose a more natural element, a branch with this sort of glittery crystallized snow on it. I also used eucalyptus leaves to make it feel a little bit more natural. In the dining room, I opted for a more glamorous look, almost like a Christmas tree that you would see in a hotel. And so I opted to forego the black color and just go with whites and golds and silvers, as well as a lot of natural elements like I discussed before. And I think this white faux fur tree skirt really adds to that glamorous look that I was going for here. I also really like to make sure I use ribbons on all of my trees and at least two ribbons is sort of the general rule for making it look more luxurious. So for this tree, I found this amazing gold plaid ribbon on Amazon actually and I paired it with just a simple gold sheer ribbon as well to give it a little bit of extra texture. Another really great way to add a lot of texture and interest to your tree is to add a lot of different types of picks. So I actually used five different types of picks on this tree. The first one was these large white oversized poinsettias that have a little bit of silver glitter on them. I really like how much shine they give to the tree and they give a lot of interest and natural element. The second type of pick that I used was large oversized gold branches. And I also used a smaller type of branch that had a little bit of that frosted snow look to it, similar to the bedroom Christmas tree I showed you earlier. Continuing on with the natural theme here, I used some more eucalyptus branches with some white berries. And for my last pick, I used these really fun gold glitter, almost sea urchin like picks. I think they add a lot of fun and whimsy to the tree. Last up is our third Christmas tree. This is the live Christmas tree that we have in our family room. My husband jokingly calls it the fun tree because all of our ornaments that we've collected over the years are located on this tree. We have a lot of ornaments from our cruise trips and our trips to Disney World, so this tree is very sentimental value for both of us. Here I opted to also choose two different types of ribbons, so I chose a wired velvet ribbon that's just really lovely and very luxurious, gives like a lot of texture to the tree. And then I also chose a red and black buffalo check print to match with that velvet ribbon. And if there's one person in our house who really loves our Christmas trees, it's our little baby girl, Sophie, just eight weeks old this Saturday. And she just loves to look at the lights on all of our different Christmas trees. 
What I like to do for the rest of the house is to keep it really simple and just add a few elements that are of a holiday spirit to them throughout the house. I'd say the biggest element that I add other than the Christmas trees is the garland on our staircase. So last year I purchased enough faux boxwood garlands to wrap around our entire staircase and what I do is I add some fresh looking elements with these faux eucalyptus branches as well and then I also add some different type of ribbon each year. So this year I opted for a thinner black ribbon with no structure to it instead of a wired ribbon like I did last year. And I really like that it gives it a bit of a more casual vibe as opposed to being so structured. What I like to do in the rest of the house is to take elements of the design and the decor that are normally there, for example these pillows on our bed in our master bedroom, and just switch them out to be more festive. So normally I have a blue velvet pillow and I switched them out for a red velvet pillow and I also changed out our um, embroidered pillow to be more festive. Normally I have this large oversized basket hanging in our foyer on the staircase and during the holidays I like to add a beautiful, lovely, um, natural looking wreath to it. Then it's just a matter of adding some holiday pillows, getting out the stockings and the faux Christmas trees, adding a little bit of white and red coloring around the house, and uh, turning on the fireplace. The best part of all, right? So that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me on our little house tour for our holiday decor this season. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the big red subscribe button below and click the bell next to it so that you get notifications when I post new videos. And also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Lastly, in the comments below, make sure that you let me know which of my three Christmas trees you enjoyed the most this year. Was it the rustic glam Christmas tree in our master bedroom? Was it the more sophisticated modern farmhouse tree in our dining room? Or was it the fun tree, as my husband calls it, in our family room? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, bye friends!